Hey everyone, Sean Frangelic here for MotionTutorials.net with a new Cinema 4D video on a new feature for R18, the MoGraph scaling option. So here's a typical thing we might use MoGraph for. We got this sphere, a cone, and a cloner. And say we want to clone these cones around the sphere. So we would drop our cone into our cloner, and then on our cloner, change it from linear mode to object. And then for the object, we'll drop our sphere in and then we get these little cones, which look a bit like spikes, cloning at every vertex point, which I'm fine with distributing them that way now. And if we wanted to change the way that they're pointing, we could just go to the cloner, get the transform tab, and I'll rotate these. So it rotates them all pointing out. And it's pretty cool use of cloning, but say we wanted more of these, we could go to our sphere and let's just double the segments. So we'll put this at 48. Now we get a lot and hopefully you kind of see this problem that it presents. It's, it looks great in the middle, but our spikes at the top are way too big. And this is a problem. Well, now if we take a look at cloner in the object tab, there's this new enable scaling checks box. And this is awesome for cases like this, as well as if you just want to really customize your clones. If I enable scaling, you can see it right away by default, it's going to scale down the clones at the top as well as the bottom, and they'll be bigger in the middle. And if I open this little tab, we can see it. We can actually control this. And if we turn back on our lines, we can see that the closer the vertex points, because we're in distribution mode vertex, the smaller these clones are going to be. And if we adjust our scaling, we can turn up or down how much it's scaling those down. So it can be a really cool way to get control of this sort of thing. And if we want to customize it even more, we can adjust this scale spline. So right now they're getting too small at the beginning and too big in the middle. So in addition to taking our entire scale down so we get some of those top ones back, we can then pull this curve up and down and we'll get the middle ones a bit smaller. And we can even command click to make more points if we wanted to really impact these in-between ones where we want them to show and really manipulate the percentages at which this starts to scale this down. So it's a really cool little update and can be really powerful to customize cloned objects in lots of different situations. Be sure to remember that enable scaling is there now and test out what it can do in all sorts of MoGraph situations. And if you want to check out more new features for Cinema 4D R18, be sure to check out motiontutorials.net where I have full breakdowns on all of the new features, including my top five new features, MoGraph updates, the new thin film shader, the awesome new Vernoy fracture, and more new features. And don't forget to check out some of the new Cinema 4D products I have in the online store at motiontutorials.net slash store, where you can pick up Cinema 4D templates, lighting and rendering assets, and new packs for 360 Environment Maps Pro, which are packs of 8K environment photos, assets, and a Cinema 4D templates to quickly and easily make your 3D scenes look awesome. If you have any questions on this tutorial or any of my other new feature tutorials, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella and check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash motion tutorials. I love hearing from fans of the videos and talking about all these new features. And if you want a quick dose of other new features for R18, be sure to check out the other R18 videos I have up on YouTube by clicking on any of those thumbnails that are popping up there now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video.